Good morning. Happy Saturday to you guys. I hope you're having an amazing day. Your day has already started. Thank you for being with the Anyone Can Play Right podcast show. And I'm your host, RK Lemons Weber. Also, the uh, founder and creator of this book right here, the Adult Play Therapy Devotional. This is the 60-day devotional cleansing and devotional um, journal. Hi, a day in the life of my dolls. Thank you so much for joining. If you have been with us during this journey, then you are ready to explore day 11. And if you already have this book or are about to get this book, I just want to let you guys know right here at this beautiful little symbol is actually the day um, that you are working on. So this right here, hi, Barbie Boy Pink. Thank you for joining. The right next to that symbol, it has 11. So let's you know we're on day 11. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Thank you so much for asking. I appreciate that. So day 11, it says, identify the individuals that you need to have in your sacred, intimate circle. These individuals are folks that you can be your authentic self with, be transparent, share intimate details with, evolve with, deeply bond with in spiritual and intellectual ways while holding a safe, peaceful, and tranquil space together. Thank you, Lola Lola La Barbie. Thank you so much for joining. It's great seeing you on here. Hi, Coach Play. That's my husband. Coach Play with an I and not a Y. Any of your fitness nutritional needs, contact him and he will help you. All right, let's get into our journal for today. This is our journal prompt. If you already have this book, you will already have the journal prompt printed. You don't have to write it or anything of that nature. If you don't, then you would, of course, have to write it so that you can have that journal prompt. So when you go back and you can look at it, you can see what the question was that prompted you to write it. If you need this book and you don't have it, go on Amazon. The ebook is there. The hardback copy is there as well as you can always DM me for your own copy. All right, let's get into the devotional and now the journal. Who is in your sacred, intimate circle? Why? So this will be the space where you're going to list the individuals who are in your intimate, sacred circle and why. Why is that person in your circle? Just because that person is your spouse or your partner doesn't mean that they have to be in your circle. They should, right? But it doesn't necessarily mean that that's true for everyone. In my intimate circle, it's going to look different than what you have for your intimate circle. Or not at all comparing notes. No, no one's intimate sacred circle is going to be better than someone else's. It's going to be different. These are going to be the people, like, like we said in the devotional prompt, that you can be transparent with, your authentic self with. You can be um, um, intimate with as far as not, not so much as just mm, kissing and all that, right? But just being able to share of your emotional self and your, um, you know, sharing, sharing those details um, and that you wouldn't with someone else, being able to be vulnerable with them. You can bond with them on a deeper level than what you do with someone else. And that bond is what connects you spiritually. It connects you in intellectual ways. You know that when you're with them, that they are a safe space. And there is peace and there, trans and there is tranquility in the space that you hold together. That is your sacred, intimate circle with the individuals that you have around you. So you're going to list those people. And then why? Well, I have this person written, written. I have my husband because I'm able to be my authentic self with. I'm able to just, ah, you know, just breathe and talk and find um, find out more even about myself in the conversations that we have. I feel that no matter what I say um, and what, what I disclose, that I am accepted and that there is going to be um, uh, this dyadic relationship and that, you know, I give my spill, he gives his spill, and there's healing that's there. And it doesn't always have to be a, a place of crying or a place of, you know, rehashing and reliving something from the past it can be a space of just that this is a person that knows how I like to laugh they know what what kind of comedy will make me laugh um, they can pick up if I'm having a little bit of an off day and kind of like get me back on the right track this is a person that 
when I speak encouragement to, they receive it and vice versa. So who are these individuals? It may be one person for you. It could be five people for you. Don't look at your list and go, hmm, I only have three. I feel like I need to put someone else on there. And then you include someone who's not really someone that you can talk intimate to. I have people that I may have known since I was a kid. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I disclose intimate details to. That may not be the person that I say, oh, my God, I had such a, a hard day today being a mom. <laughs> um, because they may not understand what I'm feeling and what I'm saying, even though I may have grown up with them. So this is going to be you know, individuals that when I say I had a hard day today, you know, being an adult was just draining and they can understand that by and not take it offensively. So guys, I thank you for being on this journey with me. Thank you again for the compliment about my necklace. And you guys have an amazing Saturday. If your Saturday's already began, hope that you have a good day. If you're closing out the day and about to you know, go to sleep, thank you for being with me, with me before you go to sleep. I'm enjoying this journey with you guys and I love you and I thank you. You have an amazing day. Bye-bye.